Hi, my name is Sharma. Did you ever get a massage where you felt you just went to heaven? Where you were melting under the hands of the therapist and you had this wonderful feeling and you were sure the therapist had the magic touch? If not, I hope you will get one like this because otherwise you're really missing out on a wonderful experience. Now, where does that magic touch come from? Do you have to be born with that or can you develop it? I can tell you from many years of practicing and teaching Thai massage that you can learn it, at least to some degree. Let's look at a newborn baby. Imagine you're holding a newborn baby in your hands. Tiny hands, tiny fingers, tiny toes, you're afraid to break something. Or you're touching a newborn kitten or a little puppy dog and everything is so delicate and imagine how you would touch the baby or the kitten or the puppy dog. Let me ask you something. Is that a technique or is it a quality of touch? And the answer is obvious. It has nothing to do with technique. It is just a quality of touch. So why am I saying that? because the quality of touch is not really so much what you do with your hands, it is what you do with your mind. It is something that happens up here much more than in the hands. Now, let me give you some practical applic applications how you can develop such a touch. Now, some of what I show you you just do when you practice it and not when you're doing the massage like the first technique for example instead of just putting your hands on someone and touching someone just float let your hands float down like a cloud now that you wouldn't do in the actual massage that's just for practice now so you're floating down very softly and gently and at the same time imagine there is energy coming out of your hands now you might say I have never seen any energy coming out of my hands well the energy is there first of all most of Asian medical models are based on that and they have been practicing based on this energy for thousands of years and second, this energy can be photographed. There is a process called Kirlian photography and you can see the energy, so it is really there. So just imagine energy coming out of your hands while you're floating down. And then, instead of just pressing on a muscle, just sink into it like this. Did you ever see one of those beds that mold themselves around your body? That's the feeling you want to have. You're just softly sinking into that muscle. At the same time, you think the word softness to get that feeling in your hands. And while you're leaning down, you breathe out like this. And when you come out, you breathe in. Of course, during the real session, you wouldn't make the breath audible. I just do that so, you, so that you know what I'm doing. And at the same time, you have that picture in your mind that you're touching a newborn baby or a kitten or a puppy dog. You put all those elements together. This feeling of floating down, sinking softly into a muscle thinking softness in your mind, feeling energy coming out of your hands. You can visualize it as a color if you like. And having the, this picture in your mind of touching a baby or a kitten or a little puppy dog. So if you add up all those elements and you practice touching someone like this, 
I can guarantee you that the quality of your touch will greatly improve, even if it won't be completely magical, but it will really change the way how you touch people. It will be a wonderful feeling for someone who is touched in this way. So give it a try, practice that a little bit, and I can assure you, you, de you will develop a wonderful touch. Anyway, thank you for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Take care.